G'day team, Adam Kogan here from SSW TV and today we're talking security. And when I'm talking security, I'm talking to uh, CEOs usually and uh, they often don't have a good handle on the important things and I try to distill it down to a uh, bunch of important things for the end users and a bunch of important things for the system administrators. And uh, I've got 10 tips, we'll see how we go here. They have come from the School of Hard Knocks, a lot of pain for us and a lot of pain for clients. And uh, if you do these things, you'll be covering most bases. The first thing, employees, they must understand that when they come to your company, they generate a strong password, a long password, a auto-generated password, a ugly password. And they put that into a password manager. Okay, and they understand that they will not be typing that and they will not be copying that. Number two, all employees use two-factor authentication, now known as MFA, multi-factor authentication. Uh, and they should be using biometrics, uh, they should be using an authenticator app, uh, not using SMS uh, uh, two-factor authentication. They do not type this and they don't copy this. So you don't have to copy codes in, you just open up the Authenticator app and press yes. Number three, they understand that they are not allowed to use a, the same password in their personal life and in their corporate life. So they don't use their same password in say Gmail and their work account, say SSW. And they learn that on their first day of work and you know some learning management system, we use Sugar Learning, uh, that is really important. The next one is that employees know that a personal breach should be resolved by their system administrator, should be informed to their system administrator, and they should expect the same level of service on a personal breach as they do on a corporate breach. And the reason for that is if their Gmail's been hacked, that can have implications to the company. Number five, end users should know that they should be using Windows Hello. They should be uh, not coming in the morning and typing their password in. They should be looking at their screen and it logs in or using the fingerprint reader on their computer or if uh, they can plug in an external dongle and do it like that. Now, moving over to the other side, system administrators have Lots of things to worry about, but these are the key things. The first thing is they should not be giving system administrator access to any, any employee for uh, any reason. I'm not talking about the system administrator team, I'm talking about the, the users. So if the marketing department have a team where they have their own server, or in our case, we have a TV team with their own server, the users of that under no circumstances are given admin access to the box. And that is because of credential dumping. Number seven, all system administrators should understand the lsass.exe. Uh, that is a local security authentication subsystem service. And they should see that service running in task manager. They should right click on that and see that you can do a memory dump of that. And when you dump that file, the hacker once they're into that box, gets that nice little gift, takes it offline, spends as much time and resources as they want. They've got all the people that have logged into that. They've got their passwords. They come back and say, hello, all right, what damage can we do with all this? All right, so it's really important they understand that. Number eight, system administrators should understand that VPN access is only given to essential users of that. And most importantly, and I see this missing a lot, VPN access must be under two-factor authentication as well, or multi-factor authentication. Number nine, system administrators that, are, that have admin access should log in as a separate admin user for that. They log in, they do their system admin stuff, they log back out and do their normal work. Number 10, Windows 11 is essential. And the reason for that is that that has a TPM chip. It's a hardware requirement of Windows 11. And that just gives you security, gives you safety that every single 
person in the company is on Windows 11, they all have that chip, and they can then enable credential guard, which will save you from any of that credential dumping. So there's my 10. I don't even know why I'm smiling. This is not a fun topic. This topic is full of pain. If anybody that you know has been, you know, suffered a serious malware attack or, or even worse, ransomware, it is a lot of horrible pain. Follow these steps. And if you have other tips, tell us. We all like to learn. Throw it down there in the comments and I will see you in the next one. This is Adam Kogan signing off for SSWTV. TV.